Welcome everyone. This might look familiar to you. Last year, we were right in this exact spot starting the intro from our filming locations of Back to the Future Part 1. You know your history. Very good. This is Justin from Live Fast, Die Poor. Once again, he's going to be joining me. I just spit something out of my mouth right then. <laughs> this video is specifically about the locations from Back to the Future Part 2. So we're back? We're back. Join us. Shall you? This whole grassy area was removed and a pool of water was placed there with all the futuristic stuff all around the town square. Clock tower, straight ahead. Still looks fake. Hi, friends. Go. Are these props from the movie? The reason I ask is look at that purple arrow, what it's pointing to. Are they these? This is the location of the diner. Of course, now it's been redone as a gas station. The hoverboard scene all around. Right here in this little grassy area, which for part two was converted to water. Right about in this location, the altercation. Well, when did you become the physical type? Since when did you become the physical type? Random trivia question. Who's the kid with the red shirt? <laughs> Welcome to Hilldale, 2015. Right over here is where the DeLorean landed. You gotta be careful though, because there's nothing but Tranks, Lobos, and Zip Heads here. That's right. Let's be careful. Tranks, Lobos, and Zip Heads. I don't believe it. I live in Hilldale. This is great. What was right over here? The Hilldale sign! The address of success. The Hilldale sign would have been right there. That's awesome. Hilldale. Gotta check this out. When the cops pull up to drop Jennifer off, it would have been parked. The police car would have been parked right where this vehicle was. And behind the police car, you can actually see this electrical box and this little electrical area. The camera would have panned up over the car facing the door. Hilldale. Nothing but a breeding ground for tranks, lobos, and zip heads. I can't be fired. I'm fired. I'm fired. It's pretty crazy to think Christopher Lloyd, Michael J. Fox, right here on the street. They had to carry Elizabeth Shue, or probably a stunt woman, from this house back to the DeLorean. The weird thing is when you're in here in real life, it's kind of a further distance than it looks like in the movie. That's a long way to carry a fine looking lady without dropping her. I should know. Just as I predicted, she'll be fine. Let's get her back to 1985. Another interesting fact, when Biff gets out of the taxi and the taxi takes off, there's two different shots. Biff is standing right around here. The normal taxi drives by him, and when it goes past his torso, a new shot, a digital image of the taxi goes up into the air. Two shots. Can you spot where the cut is? This is the spot where Biff would have arrived 
right here. The Lorian would have come down and landed on the street. If the shrubbery wasn't here, you could see this tree and the DeLorean would have flown right where my hand is. It would have come in from the sky and it was kind of neat the way they did the filming because over here they actually had a street light and they used that for when the DeLorean came in, crossed the street light and then the real DeLorean started here. A little bit of movie magic. The real DeLorean pulled in and turned right into Jennifer's driveway. It's the exact same porch swing that was there in 1989 for Back to the Future Part 2. You should be able to convince him that it was all a dream. This orientation will help convince her that it was all a dream. Pretty awesome. Let's just soak it in. I don't remember bars being on this window. I remember bars being on these windows. This is the road where Marty comes running around the corner. You see the dilapidated old school behind him. He's running. <laughs> and he walks right up to Principal Strickland's house goes on the porch to get the paper, and then Strickland comes out with the shotgun. Drop it. Adam, Adam, it's me, don't you remember me? It's me, Justin Scarred. Look like a slacker to me. You gave me the tension last week. Slacker. The school burned out six years ago. Hey, Strickland! Hey, Strickland! The Plaza Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas served as the inspiration and a model recreation of Biff's pleasure paradise. Eerily similar, isn't it? The only difference is Biff. Pretty awesome. This is the stairway that the goons chase them down. They're running down all pitter pattery like down those stairs. Here we come. It's a little clue. You're expecting to find the floor that leads to Biff's. <gasps> Biff's penthouse in real life. It doesn't exist. Problem with the space. It's not continuing. And check this out. Here's the original arrow in the paint that says roof access. It's still embedded in the wall, very vaguely. I was there in the movie. See it through the new paint. Look over here. There's a weird little secret cavernous area. So instead of going out that way, he could have just hid right in this little area here. It's in the nether regions. What are you doing, Adam? I'm hiding from Biff. Shh. Look at these loose wires. If we pull those out of socket, we're going to put this casino business. When Marty runs to the ledge and looks down, he's actually looking down from this building. He leans over to see the parking lot down below, which is actually this building, now the Simpsons ride, but ironically was once the Back to the Future ride. You know your history? Very good. Roger, Marty. This is Doc. Are you there? 
looks like some old lady lives here. I'm going to get my car, Grandma! He's watching Biff with the binoculars. Behind us is a whole different area. This was actually not seen in the movie, even though you think this is behind him. It was not filmed here. So don't be deceived. This is not in the movie. See this palm tree? In the movie, it's actually covered with ivy. That way you don't notice that it's a palm tree. This is where Biff left his grandma's house. Gertrude Tannen and all the children surrounded him and annoyed Biff took those buttheads ball and threw it up there. Toy up there. Look at it. There's a little toy plane or something right there. Biff was here. Biff was here. Hey, hey, hey. There's the bush Biff hits. Poor Bush. Still standing strong. That bush is still standing strong even after Biff ravaged it. This is also where Doc Brown at night would have rode his bike. He's on his bike scurrying this way, right into the driveway. Back behind to where the garage would have been, which actually was filmed on a sound stage. There is no garage back there. Well, there is, but it's not the garage. It's a garage. Hey, Biff, she's all fixed up just like you, but I couldn't get it started. I should get a case of oil out of you for 300 bucks. Yes, you will! It's you and me, Louis! Someday you'll be my wife! You always did have a way with women. Get the hell out of my car, old man! It's definitely very cool to be back for part two locations. We were here for part one last year. Wait, where's that punk Calvin Klein? How, how am I supposed to know, Biff? I ain't a secretary. Well, go find further of a drop than it seems like from a movie. I would not jump that. You gotta see it from a different angle. See it from up here. Look at this world. It's the other angle you never really see. That is a far drop. One interesting little tidbit, in part one, the chain is actually here, but in part two, they actually removed it. That way they could get down in the stairway and the whole scene here with Strickland and Biff and the sports almanac, sports statistics. Interesting subject. Biff was really absorbed in the sports almanac. Of course, now we know he was really absorbed in ooh la la. 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 Ooh la la! This is the punch out scene. Right over here is where Strickland's office would have been built. They built an exterior raised platform so that they could get the shot right here of the famous punch out scene. Right here. It's like deja vu, isn't it? It is like deja vu. It's like deja vu. Steal my stuff? And this one's for my car! You see the original curb right here that was here during the filming of part two? All the cars were parked along. 
along here, so I was a bit flat. Barely avoided hitting the red floor, and Marty runs right up those stairs. This is the tunnel. This is the tunnel where the famous hoverboard scene was. It was actually filmed all on this end. Nothing was filmed out the exterior of the tunnel. They actually put lights in there getting smaller and smaller to make the tunnel look a lot longer and a forced perspective wall way back in the background. So all the outdoor shots you see of the tunnel are actually all right in this. The entry and the exit of the tunnel all right here. Where Biff, it's where Biff would have been smashing his car up against the side. Look at this hole right here. Maybe that's from Biff's car. I forgot my hoverboard. Traffic really flies through here. Big flies. Get it? Remember the manure scene when Biff smashes in the back of that manure truck? Park right in here. You can see that light pole. Manure truck and a very upset Biff. Manure! I hate manure! Manure! I hate manure! There's that famous mountain range in the back. Of course, this was all covered with the set design where the theater was. Doc, Doc Brown would have been standing right there and Marty would have darted out around that corner in between the two cars. Thanks for watching both of our videos. Okay. It's a collaboration. Me and Justin from Live Fast Die Poor. Make sure you go over and check out his channel, Live Fast Die Poor. I'll put the link right up here as well as the part one video from last year we did. Right here. We did? He's a peeping Tom. Dad! Oh, Adam got struck by lightning! Where'd he go? Oh, what's this? Dear Justin, I've been living happily these past three months in the year 1885. Great. Let me sit down, and then you sit down next to me. Okay. Okay. Here. I'm tired. Hey, stop resting. Well, when? <laughs> oh man, I'm tired. It's like a little low on here. Stop like... resting. We gotta get to the next location. Well, since when did you? <laughs> hey, 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 no resting. We gotta well, get on. Since... <laughs> okay. Hey, 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 no resting here. We gotta get on to the next location. Well, since when did you become the physical type? <laughs> Pretty grimy and dingy in here. Definitely not the tunnel of love. Just grab my shirt and do close your eyes. <laughs> All right. Okay. Adam, don't you remember me? It's me. It's me. <laughs> Say hi, Adam. Hello. I was tweeting and Instagramming at the same time. Uh-oh, Biff's in trouble. Again, I own the police. Marty? Great flick, great freaking flick. The guy is brilliant. Well, since when did you become the physical type?